My name is Tom Byers. I'm a professor of management science and engineering here at Stanford University. I was a student at Berkeley in my 20s, and I got a bachelor's in engineering, an MBA, and then a PhD in management science and operations research. Then in my 30s, I worked in Silicon Valley as an entrepreneur and an executive, and I was very lucky to be involved with Symantec Corporation during its formation. But I feel super lucky to have been a professor here at Stanford for the last 20 years where I get involved in as many things I can regarding innovation and entrepreneurship education. I've always had a passion for learning and frankly that means teaching. Um, ever since uh, I was a kid I've been trying to teach something. This included my 20s when I taught guitar for a living as well as in my 30s when I was at Symantec and I was helping a lot of our employees develop professionally. So about 20 years ago I said maybe I should do this full time and I was lucky enough to land at Stanford um, and noticed there was a big problem. Why was it necessary for students who wanted to learn about entrepreneurship and innovation to have to go to business school? That's terrific if they wanted to, but what about all the students who want to major in engineering, want to major in the sciences, or even the humanities. What about them? So that is what I've been working on the last 20 years and uh, very excited to see how much of a reach now we have with that. That's what makes me happy and what makes me passionate. I, like everybody involved in entrepreneurship and innovation, have failed a number of times. The important thing is what you learn from it. So for example, after Symantec, I helped start a company called Slate. Oh, it was an amazing ex experience because my co-founder was the person who invented spreadsheets. He had created VisiCalc in his previous uh, uh, experiences. So he and I created a company called Slate, and it was 20 some odd years ago when um, the idea of interfacing with a computer uh, went from just keyboards to pens and fingers. So of course we take that for granted now, but it was really fun to be on the forefront. Well, unfortunately, we didn't make it, but because the hardware was not mature enough um, and we frankly spent too much money too fast, um, we just didn't make it. So I learned a, a significant um, number of lessons from it, including humility. I've had uh, the pleasure of living here for 40 years since high school in Atlanta, Georgia, and I absolutely enjoy every second today. Uh, there's inspiration around every corner. Um, it is 24 by 7 in terms of people willing to share their dreams. I mean, they're ordinary people. Not everybody is the founder of this or, you know, the Nobel Prize winner of that, but the it's just fantastic to be in a community of people who really, really care about where the world is headed and then how to get there. And they look at it with an entrepreneurial mindset. 